Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, I wanted to do like um, refresh and revisit of Into the Night. She was recently brought back out in some new packaging. This packaging is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. I have done other reviews of Into the Night in the past. Um, I want to say it was maybe a year to maybe two years ago, I think I did one. But I wanted to revisit Into the Night because they did bring her out. And I have been hearing a lot of things in regards to how people are perceiving the new formulation of her. Before we get too much into it, y'all, today's lip lick is, of course, by me. I am wearing Berry Bonfire from the Falling For You collection. She is a super pigmented lip gloss, and she smells and tastes like cran apple. One thing I love about the formulation of my glosses is no matter the color, I never, 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 never end up with it on my teeth. Like, ever. Never. It's never been on my teeth. I've never had that happen even once since starting this business back in April. So I just want to put that out there in case you didn't know. But make sure you run over to Bang Your Beauty by Mary and check out the Falling For You collection, the holiday collection of festive flirts in the lip glosses, as well as the holiday body care. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And stay tuned because we have some interesting things we are going to be doing for Black Friday over at Banger Beauty by Mary. So make sure you are signed up for email notifications, baby. You do not want to miss what we are going to be doing. Oh, no, 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 no. Now let's hop into this video. Okay. Into the night. Um, when I did that $5.95 body care haul, I did pick up, because I had never seen this before, it is their shimmering body oil. And I am I actually really love the oil, but I had somebody say to me, did you go in store and smell the new body spray? And I'm going, hmm, I don't think I did smell that new one, because Into the Night has always been Into the Night to me, which, for those of you who don't know, scent notes are Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. I've always loved Into the Night. It's a very mature, sexy woman type of a scent. Um, I've, I've loved her since day one. But after I saw those comments, I was like, you know, the next time I'm in store, I'm going to do a little sniff. And I did go in store and do a little sniff. And uh, I have some thoughts, you guys. I'm going to talk about the OG, right? Uh, this is actually the OG packaging. She came out in 2019. That was such a great year. 2019 and even 2020, we had amazing scents. Into the Night was just beautiful. I do have the perfume. I literally have it like in every form you can imagine. I love this scent. So, God damn, damn, baby. You definitely get amber in here. You do pick up patchouli, but it's in the background. And it's not a heavy, like, in-your-face type of a patchouli note. You get some velvety rose. It's kind of like, uh, it's similar a little bit to the rose that's in You're the One, but it's not as loud as the rose in, in, in You're the One. You get some musk, a little bit of mocha notes. The amber is absolutely beautiful in this scent. And they say raspberry noir, but what I kind of pick up, but it's 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 a little muted, y'all. It's not the prevalent note. That raspberry noir, I it to me it almost comes across as like a raspberry, like a raspberry puree. Like but a, like a really dark, super ripe raspberry, not bright and vibrant, but like dark, almost like muddled in ways. And that's what I pick up in here. Yes, but it, this is definitely a heavier scent. She's a beast mode scent, at least in this packaging. I want to preface that. This packaging. The OG packaging, I definitely get like six to eight hours of wear out of this. I'm not even joking. The perfume is the same way. I love Into the Night. I wear her every winter. So when I went in store and I smell it, it does smell 
a little bit different. It's not a huge difference. I don't really think a lot, a lot of people are going to pick up on it. But those who really, really fell in love with End of the Night might notice it does smell a tad lighter. It's not as musky. It's not as deep. It's almost like they lightened up the patchouli just a tiniest bit. And I, I compared what I smelled in the store to the new body oil, because I do want to talk to you all about this for a second. The body oil is not like a typical oil that they have put out in the past. A lot of their oils are literally like oil consistency. And I was kind of worried that when I put this on myself, I would be slipping and sliding everywhere and look like a disco ball at the same time. I love Into the Night. I love shimmering, but I don't want to be like disco ball effect, at least in the winter. I don't, I love it in the summertime, but I got a lot more skin showing in the summertime. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. Let me show you guys how this is. The scent notes, of course, are the same with the new one versus the old packaging, but let me show you how this comes out on your skin. Look at this. It's like almost thick, you guys. Look at that. Do you see it? Like how thick it is? Okay, and then I'm going to show you as you rub it in. When you rub it in, it actually reminds me of the dry oils. The dry oils don't have that greasy texture. It really absorbs into the skin. And on the skin, it does not feel like greasy and slimy, which I'm loving. I'm absolutely loving it. I do feel like I get more of that fine shimmer on my hand more than on my arm. The, in fact, I was actually really impressed with how little glitter actually ends up staying on the skin. It almost looks like a little bit of dusting, but it's not like, not like how the Glotion butters are. You know what I'm talking about? How the Glotions are super glittery. The, this oil, this shimmer body oil literally is exactly what it says. A slight shimmer on your skin. Again, I get more on my hand than even it shows up on my skin. It's just kind of like a very natural, like highlighted look. But I love that my skin does not feel like I just slathered myself in vegetable oil. Do you know what I mean? So I am absolutely digging the formulation of this shimmer body oil. The smell though, yeah, the smell is definitely different y'all. Um, I feel like in, at least in this body oil, I notice it more. All those beautiful, deep, lovely uh, notes that are in the OG Into the Night, like the cashmere musk, the mocha musk, the, um, the amber, the patchouli, I feel like it's super, super toned down, especially in this. In fact, what I get more than anything is a tiny bit of rose, with more raspberry. Now I sprayed the OG body spray on this arm. <sighs> Way different in comparison. It almost has, this is gonna sound so weird. It almost has an overripe berry smell to it. Almost like on the verge of molding do you know what I'm talking about? Like that scent when you, you've got some raspberries because it sounded really good or blackberries. You got some blackberries because it sounded really good to be, you know, get some blackberries and be a healthy bitch. And uh, you left them in the refrigerator a little too long and you can just start to see on the very bottom of the container, just the teeniest bit of fuzz, like getting ready to per, like grow in mass and you open it and that smell, that is what I'm getting here. All the beautiful, rich depth of Into the Night is not in, definitely not in the body oil. It's a much lighter variation, and it definitely kind of reminds me of the new body spray as well. I don't think they are the same. It's a definitely a, um, a lighter, kind of watered-down version of it. I, I personally prefer the older versions that have been out for forever, 
this new, whatever the hell they did to this. Why? Why? Why mess with perfection? Why? But that's my thought on that. But I want to get into a little, uh, just a couple of comparisons. I have seen over the years, a lot of people compare it to Dream Bright. Yep, Dream Bright, she, oh, she is stunna, baby, a stunna. Scent notes is Sapphire Berries, Night Blooming Orchid, and Crystallized Vanilla. Hello, lover. I've missed you. I love pulling out the winter scents to, like, sniff around right now because I'm getting ready to use them in less than two weeks. And I'm psyched about it. Like, I love winter scents, but I know after a month or so, I'm going to be dying for, like, spring and summer. It's crazy. But I love this scent. You definitely get brighter, like, berried notes, almost like blueberry, raspberry type of notes. The orchid's in there. It's kind of in the background, but the vanilla in here is gorgeous. Honey, it is nothing like Into the Night. Although this new version, it's almost, could, could potentially be comparable. Potentially. But they're still... Is it's not dream bright, baby. It's not dream bright. The other two that I saw, I have seen this one a lot over the years. It's being compared to Dark Kiss. Yep, Dark Kiss. She's an OG from way back in the day, and they've brought her back several times. Some versions have been, other versions have been, oh, I like this one. Yes, this one, when did they come out with this? I can't read the damn numbers on the bottom because my eyes are getting a little old now, y'all. They're getting a little old. But the scent notes are black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense, dark vanilla bean, and plum musk. Damn, she good too. I definitely get incense -y notes in here, that really dark vanilla. I almost get like a rum note a little bit. The plum is beautiful in here. A tiny bit of rose, tiny bit of blackberry. Definitely a heavy hitter. I loved this version because I felt like the vanilla note was heavier. Of course, right? I mean, vanilla ho, you know I'm gonna like anything that pulls vanilla more, right? Yeah, but in comparison to Into the Night, the OG, this is way more of a powerhouse in ways. Yes, this has like incense -y vibes, but this one, Oh, she a beast with that dark patchouli in the background. Oh, she fire, baby, fire. And in comparison to this newest version of End of the Night, um, no, Dark Kiss definitely has a sweeter vibe to it. Yeah, you definitely get more vanilla in this, in at least this version of Dark Kiss, than you would ever get with End of the Night. The last comparison I have. Because I have seen this this year. We didn't see it in years past because it did not exist in years past. Y'all, I have seen a lot of talk about being compared to Floral Fantasy from the Everyday Luxuries line. I love this scent. Scent notes are Peach Osmanthum, Jasmine. See, I love me some jasmine. And Warm Patchouli. So Peach Osmanthum. Warm patchouli and jasmine in here. I can kind of understand maybe why they're comparing it. Damn. She a heavy hitter, heavy swinger, baby. I, you know what? It's, it's ironic because smelling this after smelling into the night and these other scents... I am picking up a tiny bit of peach in here. It's not a heavy peach. It's almost like a bitter peach. I definitely get a beautiful jasmine note in here, though. It's super heavy. Um, you definitely pick up patchouli notes in here as well, but they're a little bit more in the background. This is 100% a mature, sexy woman, grown-ass woman, handling her business type of a scent. I definitely plan on wearing this a lot this winter. I wasn't going to wear this in the summer or the spring or even the fall because I tend to wear these type of scents in the winter. Oh God, this one's going to be so good this year. Absolutely beautiful. But in comparison to Into the Night, especially the one they have out right now, no comparison. This doesn't even come close 
and complexity and richness and depth of what floral fantasy is. This one is a way heavier hitter than what this is right now in comparison to the OG. I even think that floral fantasy is deeper and richer than the OG into the night. I love them. They're very different though. You 100% get more amber and into the night and there's no amber notes in here, honey. They are definitely different. Definitely different. But yeah, did you pick up the new end of the night. I want to know what your thoughts are down below. And what do you think of the shimmer body oil? Y'all, I am I will say the formulation of it, I am very impressed. It's like a dry body oil. And I'm digging that because I don't want to be slipping and sliding around. Okay? Okay. Don't forget to get over to Banger Beauty by Mary. Get you some berry bonfire from the Falling For You collection. Check out all the other stuff we have going on over there right now. We finally have been getting in some great reviews on the eye candies, the eyeshadows. They are long lasting cream eyeshadows. And they double as eyeliner, baby. I say get over there and check that out. And uh, we're at my favorite part, you guys. Ready, ready, ready? Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time your girl uploads. And I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.